Hi, and welcome to Auto Order Guitars. My name is Jay, and in this video, I'm gonna take this palette and turn it into this little pedal board right here. The pedals go on in the second video. This one's just about making the pedal board itself. I hope you like it. Here it goes. All right. First, we need to take a couple boards off this thing. And then we'll follow that up by taking the nails out of them. I don't want the nails going through any of my equipment and causing any damage. It's a good thing I was busy, because my supervisors came to check on me. And of course, they told me to hurry up. Next, I'll run the boards through the planer to get them to uniform thickness, as well as clean their faces up. See? Ugly? Not ugly. Ugly. Sort of like a facelift. Get used to this table saw. It's heavily featured in this video, but mostly as a table, not a saw. You'll see. And here I'm checking to see if I cut the board straight. Yeah, close enough for this project. This scrap piece of poplar will end up being the sides of the pedal board. I know that's cheating, but I don't care. And yeah, be jealous of my high quality sled. It's one of a kind. Here I'm cutting the slots where the planks will sit. I decided on using three planks for this pedal board, so I had to cut three slots, of course. And man, I wish I had a dado stack. This took a while. And here's a first look at what the pedal board will look like. Very complex, I know, but I promise you can do this too. Only thing is, I did a terrible job cutting the slots and there's no way I can glue straight to this. So, I decided to clamp both sides together and I'll give them a good sanding to make them smooth and uniform. And to get to the middle, I had to use my special one-of-a-kind stick with sandpaper wrapped around it. Then I decided to fill the nail holes with some wood filler. I kind of wish I didn't do this because in the end you could still see where the holes were anyway. And I think it would have looked a little cooler without filler, but oh well.
Funny thing about this glue up is it went wrong a couple times before this. But I'm very authentic, so I'm going to show you the successful one. Moral of the story, do dry runs of your glue ups. Remember how I told you it was a success? Well, I lied, and now I have to fill in all these gaps with wood filler. By the end of this project, I'd say most of the pedal board was made of wood filler. Here's some more wood filler. Next, I'm sanding up to 800 grit sandpaper to prepare for the finish application. And since I used so much wood filler, I decided to paint the sides, so I'm going to tape off the center planks to put a different finish on those. First will be primer. It's just some Kills Original. Oh wait, don't forget to use a respirator. I'm applying a couple light coats, just enough for the paint to stick to. Then very lightly sanding with 800 grit sandpaper just to knock off any dust before applying paint. And now the color, just some basic matte gray. I'll apply three coats, starting lightly on the first coat and going heavier by the third. Here I am just reminding you about my table. Saw. I'm applying Danish oil generously to the planks, letting it soak for about 20 minutes and then reapplying for three coats. After that, wipe off the excess. And 
done. Not bad for pallet wood, right? Nah, you thought we were done. Don't worry, almost there. Uh, here I'm just lightly wet sanding with 800 grit sandpaper and then stepping up to 1000 grit. Uh, being careful not to remove any finish, just trying to make it smooth and not sand through it. This is a week after I applied the finish by the way, so it's already dry and hard. Just like I like it. And finally, I'm applying some polyurethane to hopefully add a protective surface. Three coats again, this time waiting three hours between coats. And that's it. I decided not to sand anymore because I like the matte look and it was already pretty smooth. Smooth enough for its purpose, at least. 